So recall, that if n is a non-zero integer, then the integer multiples of that non-zero integer is isomorphic to the entire group of integers under addition. That is, every non-trivial subgroup of the integers is isomorphic. to the integers under addition. Okay, so let's look at some finite groups. So consider the integers modulo 4 under addition modulo 4. If we look at the subgroup generated by the identity, then this is the trivial subgroup. If we look at the subgroup generated by 1, then this is the group, which has the element 1, 1 plus 1, which is 2, 2 plus 1, which is 3, and 3 plus 1, which is 0, modulo 4. And so this is the entire group of integers modulo 4. And so this is a cyclic group. If we now look at the subgroup generated by 2, then this is the group which contains the element 2. 2 plus 2, which is 0, modulo 4. And if we look at the subgroup generated by the element 3, then this is the group which contains 3. 3 plus 3, which is 2, modulo 4. 2 plus 3, which is 1, modulo 4. And 1 plus 3, which is 0, modulo 4. Notice that this is also the entire group. So the cyclic group of integers modulo 4 can be generated either by the element 1 or the element 3. And we can uh, look at a subgroup diagram beginning with the entire group or the improper subgroup of the integers modulo 4. This group has as a subgroup the non-trivial subgroup generated by the element 2, which in turn has the trivial subgroup containing the identity element only. Now notice that the subgroup generated by the element 2 is isomorphic to the integers modulo 2 under addition modulo 2. Now we can also consider the deleted set of integers modulo 4 under multiplication modulo 4 and to form this group, we must remove the zero and all zero divisors. And in this case, there is one zero divisor, and that is the number two. So the group of deleted integers modulo four under multiplication modulo four consists of two elements the number 1 and the number 3, where 1 squared is the same as 3 squared, which is 1. That is, each element is its own inverse. 1 times 3 is the same as 3 times 1, which is 3. Now, if we look at the group generated by the number 1, then this is the trivial subgroup. And if we look at the subgroup generated by 3, then this is the group which contains 3, and 3 times 3, which is 1. Notice that this is the entire group of deleted integers modulo 4 under multiplication modulo 4. And so if we look at the subgroup diagram, we have the entire group and the only proper subgroup is the trivial subgroup. Now notice that the multiplicative group of the deleted set of integers modulo 4 under multiplication, multiplication modulo 4 
is isomorphic to the additive group of integers modulo 2 under addition modulo 2. Now recall that every cyclic group is abelian, but not every abelian group is cyclic. We can now look at a finite example. The Klein fear group, where fear is the German word for four, is the set V, which contains four elements, an identity element, plus three additional elements, which we abstractly denote as A, B, and C, where for each element in the fear group, the square of that element is identity. That is, each element is its own inverse, and A times B is the same as B times A, which is the element C. A times C is the same as C times A, which is the element B. And B times C is the same as C times B, which is the element A. So notice that the fear group is a Boolean. Now if we look at the subgroup generated by the identity element, then this is the trivial subgroup. The subgroup generated by the element A is the group which contains the element A and the square of A, which is identity. The cyclic subgroup generated by the element B is the group which contains the element B and the identity. And the cyclic subgroup generated by C is the group which contains the element C and the identity. And so we can look at the subgroup diagram for the fear group. The fear group has three non-trivial proper subgroups. The subgroup generated by A, the subgroup generated by B, and the subgroup generated by C. And each has as a subgroup the trivial subgroup. So this is the subgroup diagram for the fear group. Now notice that the subgroup generated by A is isomorphic to the subgroup generated by B, which is isomorphic to the subgroup generated by C, which is isomorphic to the group of integers modulo 2 under addition modulo 2. So as an exercise, draw the subgroup diagram for the additive group of the integers modulo 8 under addition modulo 8 and show that the deleted set of integers modulo 8 under multiplication modulo 8 is isomorphic to the fear group. And to show the isomorphism, you can either show that the Cayley tables for each group is identical, or you can give an explicit isomorphism. Now recall that the set of complex numbers on the unit circle under multiplication is a group and this is the set of the complex numbers z such that the modulus of z is equal to 1. Now this group is a subgroup of the non-zero complex numbers since the complex numbers on the unit circle is a subset of the non-zero complex numbers that is itself a group under the same operation as in the group of non-zero complex numbers, namely multiplication. Now notice that this group is a Boolean but is not cyclic since the entire group cannot be generated by any single element. Now on the other hand, the nth roots of unity, which is the set 
of elements of the form e to the power of i times 2 pi times k divided by n, where k is a non-negative integer from zero, ranging from zero to n minus one, For any value of k not in this set, we have repeated values. And so this group is cyclic since this group can be generated by the element e to the power of i times 2 pi divided by n. And so the nth roots of unity is a cyclic subgroup of the complex numbers on the unit circle, which is in turn a subgroup of the non-zero complex numbers. Now, as a specific example, the fourth roots of unity can be generated by the element e to the power of i times 2 pi divided by 4, which is pi divided by 2, and this is the complex number i. Now recall that the fourth roots of unity consist of four elements, plus or minus 1, plus or minus i. If we look at the subgroup generated by 1, then this is the trivial subgroup. If we look at the subgroup generated by negative 1, then this is the group which contains the element negative 1 and negative 1 squared, which is 1. The subgroup generated by i is the entire group of fourth roots of unity under multiplication. And notice that this can also be generated by negative i. Since negative i squared is the same as i squared, which is negative 1, negative i cubed is the same as i, and negative i to the fourth power is 1. And so if we look at the subgroup diagram for the fourth roots of unity, it has as a proper subset the or rather as a proper subgroup, the cyclic subgroup generated by negative 1, and the trivial subgroup. Now notice that the fourth roots of unity under multiplication is isomorphic to the integers modulo 4 under addition modulo 4. The cyclic subgroup generated by negative 1 is isomorphic to the integers modulo 2 under addition modulo 2. And also recall that in general the fourth or rather the nth roots of unity under multiplication is isomorphic to the integers modulo n under addition modulo n. Now the Quaternion units under multiplication consisting of plus or minus 1, plus or minus i, plus or minus j, plus or minus k is a non-Abelian group. So let's consider subgroups generated by its elements. The subgroup generated by 1 is the trivial subgroup. The subgroup generated by negative 1 is the group consisting of the element negative 1 and 1. The subgroup generated by i is the subgroup which contains i, i squared, which is negative 1, i cubed, which is negative i, and i to the fourth power, which is 1, and this is the same as the group generated by negative i. The group generated by the element j is the group which contains j, j squared, which is negative 1, j cubed, which is negative j, and j to the fourth power, which is 1. 
and this is the same as the group generated by negative j and the cyclic subgroup generated by k is the group which contains k, k squared which is negative 1, k cubed which is negative k and k to the fourth power which is 1 and this is the same as the group generated by negative k. And so if we look at the subgroup diagram for the quaternion units under multiplication, there are three non-trivial proper subgroups. The of order four, and those are the group generated by I, the group generated by J, and the group generated by K. There is one proper subgroup of order 2, and that is the group generated by negative 1. And then finally the trivial subgroup, and so this is the subgroup diagram for the quaternion units under multiplication. Now notice that the subgroup generated by the element I is isomorphic to the subgroup generated by J, which is isomorphic to the subgroup generated by K, which is isomorphic to the integers modulo 4 under addition modulo 4. Also notice that the subgroup generated by I is the fourth roots of unity under multiplication and that the subgroup generated by negative 1 is once again isomorphic to the integers modulo 2 under addition modulo 2. Now for finite groups it is possible to show every subgroup in a subgroup diagram. This is not possible for groups of infinite order. If we look at the non-zero quaternions under multiplication it has as a subgroup, as a proper subgroup, the non-zero complex numbers under multiplication, which in turn has a as a proper subgroup, the non-zero reals under multiplication, which in turn has as a proper subgroup, the non-zero rationals under multiplication. Now the complex numbers has as a subgroup the complex numbers on the unit circle which in turn has as a subgroup the nth roots of unity under multiplication which is a cyclic subgroup of the complex numbers on the unit circle and each of these has as a proper subgroup the trivial subgroup containing only the identity element. And if we look at the additive groups, the quaternions under addition has as a proper subgroup the complex numbers under addition, which has as a proper subgroup the reals under addition, which has as a proper subgroup the rationals under addition, which in turn has as a proper subgroup the integers under addition, which has as a proper subgroup any integer multiple of a given non-zero integer which has as a subgroup the trivial subgroup containing only the identity.